In today's video, I am going to show you how you can make money with Pinterest affiliate marketing. So you pretty much don't need to have any specific skills, experience, or to put money up front. So I am going to share with you six different strategies that you can use on your Pinterest affiliate marketing. That way you can make hundreds of dollars per week or even every day. It's actually just going to depend on how you're going to implement all these strategies I am going to share with you today. And before I get started in today's video, please consider liking this video, subscribe, and let's jump straight on today's video. So let's start by answering what is Pinterest affiliate marketing. So Pinterest affiliate marketing is when you are using Pinterest to drive traffic on a product or services you are affiliate with. So let's say you are promoting a certain product, maybe a makeup or a cup or anything or even maybe a dress. So when customer click that product, you will pretty much attach an affiliate link on that product. And when your visitors click that product and purchase that product, you will be able to earn a certain commission through that purchase from that person. So you can earn maybe a dollar, 10, 20. It just depends on what kind of product you are doing affiliate. So step number one, choose a product you know and you love. So basically pick a product in a niche that you love and you are familiar with. This will make your job easier and it's going to be really fun for you to promote their certain product you love on a niche that you are familiar with. Although you can join different affiliate networks that you can find a product with a high commission and you can start promoting that way, that can also work. But in today's video, I will actually recommend you to try a product on a niche that you are familiar with and on a product that you have used it before. So this way, it can be easy for you to attract people to use that product because you will know how to tell them about that product and make them go straight and click on that link of the product and purchase that product and you can earn your commission just like that. Number two, check traffic and commission. So on this stage, make sure you're promoting a product that has a high demand and people are looking for it. If there is no high demand on a product you're planning to promote so you can earn income on it, it is going to be really hard for you to earn income as fast as if you promote a product that has a high demand. So make sure you're checking first if that product has a high search volume, so many people are looking for it and that will be the first step for you to earn commission on it. And also, make sure that the commission on that product is good enough to help you earn enough um, income. Let's say if you're uh, promoting a product and the only commission you're going to earn is $1, then you're gonna have to promote so many products for you to earn $300 $500 up to $1,000 but you can find other products that has a high demand and they're offering a high commission on it and you can earn up to 45 bucks per product so you can promote less products and you can earn 300 really quick 500 to $1,000 number three write a blog post this can take so much time for you to write a blog post but as I said before, you need to promote a product that you are familiar with and you know about it. Then this will be so easy and it's going to be so fun writing a blog post. So there are so many different types of blog posts. You can use the type of blog post that you'll be writing a review about the product in details. Um, so you can tell your visitors why you love that product, why you bought it, and how did it actually helps you so you can tell them so many good things about it and how it actually helps you using that product and it is really really good to promote a product that actually solves problems so if that product solves problems for you there are so many other people who have the same problem like you and they're looking for that kind of product so use your blog post to tell you to tell people why that product is really really good and why they should actually purchase it and you can add different affiliate links inside your blog post so you can add the affiliate link on the text every time when you mention the product or on the pictures that you are showing how these products looks like you can attach um 
the links in there that way it can be clickable and when people click it it will take them straight where they can purchase that product number four add affiliate links on your blog post so you can choose to add your affiliate links on your on your pins on your pinterest or you can add the affiliate links on your blog post i personally i will recommend you to add um pins on your blog post that way it can be so easy for you to promote your product easily you know why because every time when you're writing good things about the product you can link the affiliate links on the product name or on the product pictures that you're going to attach on your blog post you can add as many affiliate links as possible and when they click those affiliate links it will actually take them straight on the product and they can purchase there and you can earn commission um, you can also choose to put affiliate links on your pinterest pins in my experience it won't actually drive so much traffic as if you put your affiliate links on your blog post and one thing to note every time when you post your blog post with affiliate links make sure that you are mentioning that your blog post include affiliate links because it just depends on where you're located um, you might be required to mention that you are actually using affiliate links on the product that you are on the products that you're talking about on your blog post so in order for you to be safe just say um, just mention that you uh, that your blog post include affiliate links number five create pins so on this stage you're going to create pins that will actually lead them to your blog post so you can create three to five different pins that you can actually constantly posting them on your pinterest account and link your blog post and make sure that on your pinterest pins you are including links that will actually drive your visitors to your blog post number six use Pinterest ads so this is actually optional you really don't have to use um, Pinterest advertisements to advertise your pins if you want yes you can use this strategy to promote all only pins that they're actually doing really really good on your Pinterest account to drive more traffic uh, and drive more people to read your blog post so they can purchase the product that you're promoting again you don't have to use this strategy because it will require you to use money if you don't have money to spend don't use it but if you have money to spend then you can go ahead and use it and promote only pins that are driving so much traffic already on your pinterest account even way before promoting them and once you start promoting your pins you might be able to increase a huge number of traffic on your pinterest pins which would lead them straight to your blog post and you'll have so much traffic on your blog post as well and people and you will have a huge chance of people clicking the links clicking the affiliate links you put on your blog post and purchase the product and earn even more money that you used to make before so these are my few six steps for pinterest affiliate marketing i hope this video was really helpful to you if you have any question let me know down below and don't forget to like this video and subscribe for more video like this and leave me a comment down below as well to let me know if you really enjoyed this video and what do you think of these strategies or if you have um any other recommendation strategies that people can use and i can use to drive more traffic on our pinterest affiliate marketing and that's it for today's video i'll see you on the next video